everyone. I have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Transfer going on here. I'm playing a new deck called uh, Old Warriors, I guess is what it's labeled as. It's basically a lot of warriors with some synchro uh, support and whatnot in it. A lot of tuners. And I actually cut some of the staple cards out. I actually cut like mind control, brain control, that kind of stuff. And I went through several different kind of situations to see what I liked what I didn't like and I kind of played with it for a while in the um, in the list and want to see what ends up coming of it um, but yeah the main goal is just to make synchros I had very few spells and traps at one point and then I just had so many monsters I had to throw in a bunch of like generic traps and stuff like that so uh, here we go I really don't think there's much else to say just go ahead and pay attention uh, the be Links in the title for other channels to check out, um, all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. God bless. Have a good rest of the day. I'm going to be listening call. to some audio here. This is Rebel Call. Uh, a major disruptive event could be coming. Channel, welcome to today's show. Very important information. A subscriber over on the website who goes by Life the name of The More Power, who great shares stuff. a lot of great stuff along with everybody over on the website, posted this in the forum. This is the Rebel Call Excuse Channel. Excuse me for a moment here. I'm trying to set this up. This is the Rebel Call Channel. Welcome to today's show. A subscriber over on the website who goes by the name of The More Power, who shares a lot of great stuff along with everybody it's over on the website, anyway. posted this in the forum, and I felt the need to share this because it's a very suspicious posting that was made in regards to changes and restrictions when it comes to Airbnb on a specific day. So on 6624, which of course, if you do the math, 66 and then 2 plus 4 is 6, Airbnb is changing their policies in regards to a major disruptive event. Now, this is obviously something that should make people suspicious, especially when you start reading between the lines of what they're talking about in regards to either a major weather event or of course some type of public health emergency so you would Live think that they down. would have put these restrictions in place back they're, in 2021 ready 2020 but they didn't now they're, they're putting in their, a few restrictions in regards to public funny. health emergencies and of course we all know that they keep telling us about this mysterious disease x and the only people paying attention are the only ones that understand what's going on because other people out there suddenly think it's normal for all these diseases to pop up so much so that the government needs to put in things like specific treaties in place so that the next time it happens, they could have full authority to lock everybody down all around the earth. So some of the things that Airbnb changed, and people are suspicious of this because of the wording of a lot of it. So for starters, the declared public health emergency, number two, Government travel restrictions. It says this only happens to mandatory travel res restrictions that are imposed by a governmental agency, such as an evacuation order. Okay. Next up, there's military actions and other hostilities, acts of war. And again, these aren't things that Airbnb has had in their policies before. Then they have large scale outages of essential utilities. You may cancel if a prolonged outage of essential utilities such as heat, water, and electricity affects the vast majority of homes in a. Are you skipping this here on that? Given location. Then it goes on to say natural disasters. Natural disasters and other severe weather events are covered if they're unusual okay. and sudden. The new yeah, Airbnb yeah, policy would cover such weather conditions that would result in mandatory evacuations or large-scale utility outages. So, in other words, these restrictions are only in place if the government declares some type of emergency. And the fact that they chose this date is very Man. suspicious. Not just because of the fact that 666 is very suspicious, but also, if you remember the film that I covered, Leave the World Behind, where they have the mass power outage, you know, Barry Sortoro, Obama who's one of the producers of the film. Well, during that film, they played a baseball game on the screen between the Nationals 
and the Braves, who happen to be playing them, playing one another on June the 6th. So there's some theories going on around that. Now, I'm just doing this to point this out to you because six, six, anytime we see suspicious three, four, behavior, six. we have to look and keep an eye on it, how these corporations are wording. Remember, it's an American corporation. OK, so all these corporations are in the know. And of course, they only put these restrictions in place to protect their own rear end. So let me read the specific wording here from this article on June 6, 2024. Airbnb will implement a significant policy update transitioning from the extenuating circumstances policy to the major disruptive events policy. This change has not only caught the attention of guests and hosts, but has also spawned a myriad of conspiracy theories. Speculators ask, what if Airbnb knew something that we did not? Echoing themes reminiscent of the 2012 movie, the movie 2012, so where elites orders. had foreknowledge of disasters. That's, of course, because that movie was telling you elites had the foreknowledge of the disasters because they were creating the disasters. But the inclusion of government in the new policy has particularly fueled these suspicions, suggesting that the company is preparing for undisclosed catastrophic events. Now, Another thing I've been covering on the website, and I'll continue to cover there because you're not allowed to cover here, is this treaty that they're trying to get passed, officially passed, in May. This treaty's already passed. The only reason that you see any pushback from other countries in regards to the treaty is they don't want you to be suspicious that they're just forcing the treaty on. They want to pretend. They love doing this stuff. As if, oh, well, they're just going to make sure that this is okay and that's okay. Oh, and they're going to go maybe have a disagreement about this or that. They're all in 100% agreement. All these countries have sold out their citizens. They're all in agreement because once that treaty is in place, once that treaty is signed, we sign away all of our rights to health organizations. Okay, Our governments give our rights to them, and then they override the government. And they could just declare an emergency going on around the world and have everybody locked up and put all these rules in place. And then the government could just shrug their shoulders and go, well, we're not the ones doing it. Okay. We're giving it to the experts. We're giving it to the scientists. We're giving it to the people that understand this. The rest of you don't understand. This is what's the, in the best interest of everybody. And then we're all screwed royally. So the inclusion of government in the policy has particularly fueled these suspicions, suggesting that the company is preparing for an undisclosed catastrophic event. It says online platforms such as X and Reddit are abuzz with various theories suggesting that Airbnb's update hints at government foreknowledge of impending disasters or societal upheavals. Keep that in mind as well, societal upheaval, because we're seeing that going on. We're seeing them nuking the infrastructure of our country, and of course we know any upheaval that occurs is going to be started from within. It's not going to be organically done by citizens. They're going to make you think that conservatives and patriot movements are going to be responsible for these types of things, but this will be a full-on government op. So Twitter users are voicing a common suspicion questioning if the policy revision is in response to an undisclosed event in June. Such statement, statements have led to rampant speculation about the reason behind the precise timing of this policy update. Many people on social media suspect that Airbnb's timing for a new policy suggests they might know of an upcoming disaster or major event that the public doesn't. Of course they do. They know these things ahead of time because they're the ones who plot it and plan it. And they make sure that they're all hidden away when they create these things so that they're never held accountable for if people actually wake up to what's going on. So it says this, is, this suspicion reflects a common concern that corporations and governments not, might not always be transparent with the public. Uh, it says, is this why Airbnb and other corporations are changing their terms of rebate, et cetera, due to, quote, the event? June 6, I think, is a date mentioned also. Plenty of others are changing terms of service, adding some kind of an event. So we're seeing other corporations also adding June 6 to their new terms of service, which is really just like it said in the beginning of the article, major disruptive event moving from extenuating circumstances policy, which would be like, uh, OK, grandma died. You had a trip plan. Can you provide proof that your grandma died and get a refund? Sure. It's going from extenuating circumstances to major disruptive events, which means obviously, again, some type of catastrophe that they would create. That's what it, that's really what we're talking about here. So it even goes on to talk about that theory I said from Leave the World Behind. Users are linking the policy change to specific dates and referencing pop culture, such as movies, to find patterns or hidden meanings. For instance, some noted that Airbnb's change coincides with a significant date in the Airbnb disaster movie, Leave the World Behind. Because again, in that film, Airbnb was uh, very prominent in that film. 
right? When they're coming to ch- you know, stay at the home, et cetera, vacationing at an Airbnb, right? So ex- the movie was executive produced by former U.S. President Barry Sartor, I mean, uh, Barack Obama and first man Michael Obama, which deepens their suspicion. <laughs> Probably like I slipped that in. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone has mentioned it before. But while rewatching the movie, somebody paused it to see, like I mentioned earlier, the two baseball teams on the screen are the Nationals and the Braves, and they happen to play each other on June the 6th this year. Preparation for crisis. The discussions often focus on being prepared for emergencies like new government lockdowns or power outages, suggesting the policy update is Airbnb's way of getting ready for such events. Airbnb warns of upcoming travel restrictions.